If you guys like how I do my chart analysis on YouTube and you want to learn how to do it yourself, click the link below to check out the VTrades technical analysis course. What's up traders? This is VTrade and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for international business machines with the ticker symbol IBM. This was a viewer's request and thank you for your donation. If you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Also take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate it very much. This video is for entertainment purposes only, does not constitute any financial advice. I will first cover what I see in the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So the first thing that sticks out to me the most is that this resistance level right around that 138 um, is rejecting prices numerous times. Uh, you can see that if we put a horizontal line, uh, we've been re being rejected off this line or this level um, several times already. So we're going back up to it. You can see that Friday closed right near it. So this could turn around prices um, and go back down to the lows, maybe back down to the 119 level or the 114 level, back down to these prior lows uh, because we just came off this um, heavy selling level uh, where there's a lot of supply. So a lot of aggressive sellers are going to move the market lower once they see that price are back up here. Um, so we could, see, we could see some selling, but the only thing stopping me from believing that we're going to go down is that we are making higher lows. So you can see that this low right here was back at the 114 level, but then this low right here was at the 119 level. So prices cannot come back down to this low. Then we started making higher lows. So this is showing signs of strength for the bulls. And that's what makes me believe that we will break out of this resistance level finally. Uh, we did have some failed breakouts before and it led to a lot of selling, but one of these patterns are going to give out. Is it going to be the resistance line or the bulls are just going to um, break it? I mean, the bulls are just going to give up and we're going to go back down to the lows. So I'm leaning more towards the bullish side as of right now. I do see that we have some measured moves that could play out and that's a um, higher price target. So you can see that this was the first move up right here. I'm after this one right here. Excuse me. So this was the first move up right here. That was a nice impulse up. If we make another impulse up, where's the price target? And the price target I have for IBM is right at the 146 level. And it, it, may, it makes sense because there's a prior high over here and we could stop out all the short sellers who have their stop losses back up here. And once we clear this level, I think once we pull back and find some type of support, we could trend up to reach this 146 level. Now, I'm saying we can do that, but it doesn't mean we will because like, it, like I said before, we have this resistance line in play that we get rejected several times before. So if history repeats pretty much since 2001, excuse me, uh, 2021 of July, uh, it could send prices back down. But I'm saying I'm more, it's more likely that we won't. I've seen this pattern play out multiple times. Sooner or later, this line is gonna give out, this 138 resistance level and the bulls will take over and we're gonna push up the market higher. You can also see that we do have the um, channel that's holding prices up also, and that's helping drive prices to the top side. So we do have this channel in play. Uh, we could come back up to this 143 level and then the 146 level. So I'm um, looking for these higher price targets, even though we are at a strong resistance level, my prediction is we will break it and then continue higher to at least the 140, uh, 143 level, and then the 146 level, depending on how strong this breakout is. But again, uh, there's also a likelihood to get rejected from this price level and then just have a downtrend forma formation to the low side of the range. So that's everything I see on the daily chart. So it looks like we've been going sideways for quite a long time. And um, this resistance line is acting as a strong uh, ceiling for the price, but eventually something's going to give. Is it going to be the ceiling or the bulls are going to give up again? We're going to go down to the lower side. Most likely it's going to be the ceiling because we bounced off it so many times already and buyers are still not giving up and we're making higher lows. So I'm looking for a breakout to the top side and I would say my target is right at the 146 level. So that's everything I have on the daily chart. I forgot to mention one more thing. You can see that we did get rejected back over here um, last month 
and we only went down to the EMA. So the EMA bounced prices up. It was being supporting of the price. So that shows a lot of strength for the bulls and we're back up to the resistance point. So the sellers are kind of getting weaker and the buyers are getting stronger. So that's what it looks like to me. So it looks like we're going to break out to the top side and I would say my target is right, right around the 146 level. So that's everything I have the daily chart. Let's go and wrap this up on the weekly chart. Here we have the weekly chart for IBM. It's a similar situation playing out on the weekly chart. Uh, you can see that we've been inside of a range since pretty much 2018. So when we have a range, prices go from the highs to the lows and the lows to the highs. You can see that support was right at the 105 and this resistance is right around that 145, 146 level. Now there is a smaller uh, resistance line right here or a resistance level that I showed you guys on the um, daily chart. But I think we're going to break it and go back up to the highs of this range. So we did have a little fail breakout on the top side here, which led to a fail breakout on the bottom side. Market is symmetrical. We came back inside the range. And now we're having uh, a upward bias to this uh, range. If I put a channel on the chart, you'll see it more clearer. You can see that prices are having an upward bias to it. We're working higher. You can see that. The lows are higher than the previous ones. We cannot go back down to the previous low or even um, exceed it. We're making higher lows and we're also making higher highs. But we have been rejected in the past from this 145, 146 level. So I'm looking for a breakout to there. And if we exceed it, I think we can reach the uh, 155, 156 level. So those are my two targets. My first one was right around that, um, I believe it was right around the 143. If I'm not mistaken, 143 level, and then I'm looking for that 146 level, and then I'm looking for that 155, 156 level, which is the top side of this channel. Um, so prices bounce from the support side. We usually go back up to the resistance side, and this is the next resistance side of the channel, right around the 154, this yellow channel that's working higher. So I'm looking for that 155 target to be reached once we see that breakout. Now, if we don't do the breakout. We're going to probably go back down to the resistance side of this channel or back up back down to that 115 level. Um, so that's something also to keep an eye on. But there's a higher probability we're going to break up to the top side just because we have a upward bias to this. Uh, now, once we do that breakout, uh, what what are we going to do? Most likely pull back. Um, you see that the any breakouts, fail breakouts lead to a massive amount of selling uh, because they're normally traps um, in the market. So if we do have a breakout up to here, um, don't expect prices to just rally out of there. I'm expecting prices to have a pullback at the very least. And if the bullish strength is good enough, we might just continue higher. If not, we could see a lot more selling than we have seen previously. So that's everything I have for IBM on the weekly chart. There's one more thing I want to talk about. Um, let's go to the monthly chart. Let's go to the monthly chart of GE. So I want to show you guys GE. And I think they're very similar companies. Uh, they're kind of old, and they were they they well, GE was on the Dow Jones, but it got uh, delisted and it was uh, replaced with Walgreens. And the thing about GE is, is that it's just a dying company. Um, you can see that this is the monthly chart for GE, and we've been going down since 2000. That was the high point, right here. And then we made a, another decade-long high point uh, back in 2007. Another decade long high point, uh, 2016, and we just keep on going lower and lower. So it's a dying company. You can see that the revenue uh, pretty much since 2017 has been going down. Uh, so that's why it was delisted. Now let's go back to IBM and remember how this chart looks. It has a downward bias to it and the revenues were decreasing year over year. Let's go to IBM. This is the monthly chart for IBM, and you can see that it's not as bearish as um, GE, but the pattern is slightly similar. You can see that we had a high point in 2013, and we've been going down ever since. And then we had another high point in 2014. We cannot go back up to the 2013 level. We had another high point here, but it's lower than the previous one. So we keep on making these high points that are lower pretty much every year. So there's a downward trend that IBM is facing. And also you can see a similar pattern. Since 2018, the revenues have been decreasing. Uh, obviously 2021 was slightly higher than 2020, but you can see there's still a massive drop. So this could be a dying company that might be delisted off the Dow Jones in the next couple of years. So even though we see 
I see uh, rallies on this chart, um, there is a downward bias to this, a, a long-term downward bias. We do have these nice rallies that last about a year, maybe two years. So it could be in something like that. So even though if we do break out, um, I'm still expecting lower prices because this would be the first break of this yellow pattern. And normally the first break of patterns fails. So we could go back down to lows. So that's what I have for IBM. Um, that's what I think can happen. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, depending how strong uh, the bulls are, we might be able to take it back all the way up to all-time highs. But as right now, I mean, since 2013, uh, there's much more better businesses than IBM. So doesn't look like we probably do that. But again, don't argue with the technicals. If the technicals start forming a nice little uptrend and we go back up to there, then hey, we're going back up to the highs. But as right now, I'm looking at a long-term downtrend since 2013. So this is a 10-year bear market, almost a 10-year bear market. And we're just seeing a little bit of rallying come in right now. So that's all I have for IBM. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel. Since you might be surprised at what you can learn, leave a comment down below on where you think price are headed. Also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.